Well, good evening and, and welcome everyone uh, to our uh, 56th uh, anniversary dinner for the Korea Society and of course tonight very specially the 60th anniversary of uh, uh, probably the strongest bilateral relationship in the world, that between the Republic of Korea and the United States, which we are especially celebrating tonight. As Tom said, this is an evening about diplomacy. And uh, if I could just get in a, a short plug uh, for uh, my partner here in New York, uh, I am uh, very grateful not only for the arrangements for this dinner, but just generally every day for the partnership we have with the Consulate General here and Ambassador Son Seju. So thank you very, very much, uh, uh, Mr. Ambassador, for your cooperation. Uh, the evening is about diplomacy. Uh, as Tom said, we have many distinguished diplomats in the audience. Uh, the foreign minister, we'll be hearing from him later. Uh, but uh, every Korea Society dinner every year is an opportunity to uh, renew our acknowledgement and our appreciation for the men in uniform and the women in uniform uh, who have uh, built this relationship over 60 years and have uh, and many times made the ultimate sacrifice, certainly sacrificed uh, their family life, uh, their time, and sometimes their lives uh, so that this relationship may thrive. Uh, there's a, in this group, there's a very treasured cohort, uh, a band of brothers, as it turns out, uh, actual veterans of the Korean War. And at Table 19, we have, uh, as our guest tonight, some veterans of the Korean War. Uh, gentlemen, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Thank you for your service and, and for your long-term commitment to this relationship. Um, there's another uh, partner in building the relationship, and this is self-serving, but uh, that partner is the Korea Society itself. Uh, we don't often talk uh, at these meetings about the history of the Korea Society, but the Korea Society has been the primary private sector American organization for most of the period of the alliance, uh, promoting good relations here in the United States between our two countries. Uh, we have a military history, you might say, to the Korea Society too, because we were founded uh, 56 years ago, uh, mostly on the initiative of General James A. Van Fleet, a remarkable man. If you'll indulge me for a second, I'd like to talk about our history. Uh, General Van Fleet, uh, Harry Truman called General Van Fleet uh, the best soldier we ever had. Um, he probably uh, was exaggerating just a bit because he was uh, his successful general in Korea. But uh, General Van Fleet had a nearly 40-year career uh, in the U.S. military, a veteran of World War I, World War II, uh, the Korean War. Uh, he uh, had three uh, bronze stars, three silver stars, and three purple hearts. Uh, he led his unit ashore at Utah Beach in Normandy and was sent by President Truman uh, to Greece to implement the Marshall Plan in 1946. And then the capstone of his career was uh, as the 8th Army and UN commander uh, appointed in 1951 uh, to Korea, where he did a, a fantastic job, as everyone has, has acknowledged. After the war, of course, uh, as I said, he founded the Korea Society. And I think he must have founded it because of the professional experience he had. But I'm sure there was a personal reason, too, because in the middle of the war, his 27, 28-year-old son, a uh, newly minted pilot, came to Korea uh, to serve, and on one of his very first missions, he was lost over North Korea and never heard of again. No word of what happened to him all these years. So I think the personal commitment, um, the sim symbolism of starting the Korea Society was a tribute to what the Van Fleet family uh, had uh, sacrificed and the commitment they had made to the relationship. Uh, Tom mentioned this, but tonight we have uh, his grandson, Joe Christian, who has helped us tremendously put together the history of the society uh, here with us. And Joe, would you just stand up and be acknowledged too, for a second?
Thank you. The, 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 okay. Um, yes, certainly. We always say that. Um, uh, it's the first thing you learn in Korea, I think, Chris. Is that right? Yes. Uh, so, um, the Korea Society, as I said, was founded in uh, 1957. Uh, and in its Articles of Incorporation, it was actually incorporated in the United States as a nonprofit. Uh, this was set forth as the mission of the Korea Society to further and continue the friendly relationship that has long existed between the American people and the people of Korea through mutual understanding and appreciation of their respective cultures, aims, ideals, arts, sciences, and industries to the end that their peoples may, th through an ever closer cooperation, continue their contribution together to the improvement of mankind. Well, that's a very lofty goal for us to live up to, uh, but uh, we've certainly tried. I think it's worth noting that, of course, uh, the founder, as I said, was General Van Fleet, and he was the first president, I'm proud to say, of the organization. But I would like to just briefly uh, refer to some of the first directors, board directors, in 1957. Among the first directors of the society, to show you what a commitment had been made by the United States to this relationship, were R.B. Allen, the Chancellor of the University of California, Charles Auchincloss, investment banker, Won Hoon Chung, U.S. Representative, the Bank of Korea, Thomas J. Cross, Major General USA, Arthur S. Fleming, uh, Eisenhower Cabinet Member and President of Ohio Wesleyan University, George Glenn Gethel, President Mount Holyoke College, Frederick Brown Harris, the Chaplain of the U.S. Senate, Harlan Hatcher, the president of the University of Michigan. William Randolph Hearst, Jr., editor-in-chief, Hearst Newspapers. Clark Kerr, president, University of California. Ben C. Lim, Korean ambassador to the United Nations. Henry R. Luce, editor-in-chief, Time and Life Publications. Ralph M. Parsons, president of Parsons Company. Edgar Queeney, chairman of Monsanto Chemical Corporation. Admiral Arthur W. Radford. William Reynolds, head of Reynolds Metals Company. Spiros Skiros, President, 20th Century Fox Film Corporation. George Textor, President, the Marine Midland Trust Company. William C. Warren, Dean of Columbia University Law School. And William Seckendorf, renowned New York builder. That was our first board of directors. Um, that's a pretty impressive tradition and legacy to live up to. We've tried. and. Uh, I, you will be the judge because we would like to show you now a very short film clip about the current activities and programs of the Korea Society to fulfill the mission set forth by General Van Fleet uh, 56 years ago. Thank you very much.